The Battle of Calao, also known as the Come del Dos de Mayo in South America, stands as a significant chapter in the tumultuous history of 19th century conflicts. Occurring on May 2, 1866, this confrontation took place in the midst of the Chincha Islands War, a conflict that pitted Spain against the coastal defenses of the Peruvian port city of Calao. This battle, characterized by ironclad warships, fierce artillery exchanges, and international observers, would ultimately shape the outcome of the war and hold significance for both sides involved. Background The origins of the Chincha Islands War can be traced back to President Juan Antonio Pezet's tenure, who assumed the presidency of Peru in April 1863. At this time, Spain sought to recover some of its lost prestige by reclaiming its former American colonies. Their campaign commenced with the seizure of the Chincha Islands, known for their guano deposits, and a demand for indemnity following the murder of two Spanish citizens in Lambayeque. President Pezet, initially uncertain and faced with the threat of Spanish aggression, began exporting significant quantities of Peru's guano deposits to appease the Spanish. However, his stance shifted after Colonel Mariano Ignacio Prado staged a coup in November 1865. Prado organized a robust defense against Spanish aggression, culminating in the Battle of Calao. The Road to Calao Following the inconclusive Battle of Abtao in February 1866, Spanish Admiral Casto Mendez Núñez sought punitive actions against South American ports. His first target was the undefended Chilean port of Valparaiso, where neutral British and American naval commanders were powerless to prevent Spanish bombardment. After this success, Mendez Núñez turned his attention to the heavily fortified Peruvian port of Calao. The Battle The Battle of Calao saw the Spanish fleet, comprising seven warships and seven auxiliary ships carrying a total of 252 guns including 68-pounder cannons, enter the bay on April 25, 1866. The Spanish ships, led by the ironclad Numancia, formed a V-shaped formation, one of the most formidable fleets assembled in the Pacific at that time. The Peruvian defense was well prepared, with strong forts and batteries reinforced with British-made 22-ton Blakely rifles and Armstrong guns, some of the most potent cannons of the era. Peru also had locally built ironclads, infantry, and cavalry. The battle commenced on May 2, marked by intense, long-range combat with ironclad vessels from both sides. American, British, and French ships observed the engagement. The battle featured heavy fire exchanges, with Spanish ships taking significant damage. The ironclad Numancia, though hit, remained intact due to its armor. The Peruvian Fort Santa Rosa inflicted damage on Spanish ships, and several vessels, including the Villa de Madrid and Berengula, were forced to retreat. The frigate Almanza also suffered casualties and damage, but later re-entered the battle. As the battle raged, several Peruvian batteries were silenced, and the Peruvian forces sustained heavy casualties. By evening, only a few Peruvian guns remained operational. Seeing their losses and the futility of further combat, the Spanish fleet retreated, marking the end of the battle. The Spanish deemed it a victory, asserting that most coastal batteries had been silenced. In contrast, the Peruvians celebrated the battle as a victory that thwarted Spanish attempts to recolonize South America. Aftermath In the aftermath of the Battle of Calao, the famed ironclad ships Huascar and Independencia were added to the Peruvian fleet. Despite the absence of a peace settlement, Peru considered the idea of invading the Philippines to deter Spanish presence in the region. However, internal disputes among Peruvian officers led to the abandonment of this plan. The Spanish expedition in the Pacific officially ended in 1868, but the peace agreement was not signed until 1879. The battle left lasting impressions on both sides, with Spain celebrating it as a significant victory and Peru viewing it as a symbol of resistance against colonial ambitions. 
The legacy of the Battle of Calao endures through the names of locations like Calao Square in Madrid and the Calao Metro Madrid Station, serving as a reminder of this historic clash of empires in the Pacific Ocean. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.